Hey, what's up everybody? Mr. Boylan back for one more thriller of a periodic trends practice problem. In this problem, we're asked to identify the group that this element X belongs in on the periodic table based on some data. Now the data we're provided is ionization energy data in kilojoules per mole. Okay, so to help you understand this question, I'm just gonna give you the answer to start. This has to be an element in the third group. And to help you understand why, I'm gonna choose aluminum, which is an element in the third group. Boom, aluminum, group three. As I look at my data, I notice that it takes 540 kilojoules per mole of energy to remove this first electron. That would form an aluminum ion with the one plus charge. We've lost one electron. Now it's gonna take more energy to remove this second electron from aluminum because now these 13 protons are only pulling on 12 electrons. So it's holding them a little more tightly. So 1,651 kilojoules per mole to remove that second electron and to form an aluminum ion with a charge of two plus. Next, as I remove the third electron to form the aluminum three plus ion, Note that it's going to take 2,650 kilojoules per mole to remove that third electron. Again, a steady increase in the amount of energy required. Because as I remove electrons, the ratio of protons to electrons increases. My number of protons stays the same, but the number of electrons around that nucleus is decreasing. So it's holding on to the remaining electrons more tightly. Now, here's why I know it's an element in the third group. Notice as I go from the third ionization energy to the fourth ionization energy, I have this huge jump of ionization energy. And think about why that is. I've now completely lost the third level of electrons. The next electron to be removed is gonna come from this second level, but those electrons are way more tightly held because they only have the first main energy level shielding them from that nucleus they feel an effective core charge of plus 11. So they're held onto very tightly. So again, when you're given data like this, it's important to recognize that you're looking for that huge jump in energy to help you identify which group your element belongs to. And we are done.